I've got some FZ750 calipers here and the pistons are completely stuck in so I've rigged up the handlebar lever a single banjo connection rather than a double one then I shall connect the single banjo on the caliper and hopefully I can control the piston coming out one at a time I've got a clamp as well that I can clamp on one side so once I start moving I can put it on the other side and then get that one as long as they're half popped out then I can take them out then I'm going to send them away to be re powder coated but they're absolutely solid in there so little video first and then I'll do another one to let you know how I get on I've just made piece of tube I found in my scrap bin clamped it on there's a little piece of rubber in there because the tube weren't quite long enough then I can fill the reservoir up slowly bleed it I'll get a clamp and I'll hold that on the bench and then I can control how much force I'm doing hopefully I won't pop the seals in my master cylinder right okay it seems to be working so I've rigged it up now single single banjo down to a single banjo so I haven't got to operate two brake calipers and um, if I gently just go back and forwards on here you can see that's going in and out there is dirt coming out as well right down the side there so it's pretty cruddy in there so I'm not too worried about that I'm not going to pop the piston completely out because I want to release this side and I've got this brake clamp you can do it internally or one side so if I was going to pop both of them back in I'd put it internally but I shall pop it in one side and then concentrate on this side but they were solid and I couldn't do this on the motorbike just because it was so restricted but now I mean it literally I've got this at a slight angle so as it would appear on the handlebars and I can just just gently do that or I can give it quite a large amount and there you go you can see the dirt coming out so I'm not going to pop that out just yet I'll squeeze it back in and hopefully pop that side out then I shall work on getting them both equally so then I can get something to pop them out I have got a set of these I've had for years which operate on the pistons but the pistons on this FZ are just too big I can't close it enough so which is a shame because they're normally pretty good so that's why I'm having to do this way yep it's working uh, second pistons coming out um, I don't know if you can see that line of dirt I'm actually not spraying these with WD-40 plus gas or anything. I'm literally getting a bit of used brake fluid and then just wiping it around the piston. I personally don't want to use anything like that to contaminate the seals. Um, so once it's out, if I really wet the piston, hopefully it'll drag it in make the seal moist again so it'd be easier to pop them out but it's literally an ordinary paintbrush and brake fluid and you can see that that gunge is coming off you don't want to get in there with screwdrivers and bits and bobs like that you'll just damage this leading edge and um, this is a 1987 FZ so trying to save the calipers you can't get them anymore I can get second hand ones but they might be just the same I've tried the airline trick where you literally just where the nipple is keep injecting it it wasn't even making them move even a millimetre and this is 
I normally put a little rubber ring round here, get it on there, press. I've got a good compressor, a lot of power. It just wouldn't do it. So now we shall see that second piston. There you go. It's moving. It's quite got quite a lot of resistance that one so I suspect that is my problem one but it is working so good tip and here's my clamp that I bought years ago you can see it's an eBay purchase shop around because some people market them higher than others this one cost me just over six pound um, where some of them mark them up 25 plus. It's silly really. So, right, there you go. So. Okay, I've managed to push both pistons back in. Quite happy that I put a load of brake fluid on there. That one went in quite easy. And, um, if I gently push on this, you may be able to see both of them moving at the same time. So I shall do one either side, load of brake fluid, then I shall pop both pistons out. Another little tip is I just use an old newspaper and every time your surface gets dirty, take it away. You've got another clean one underneath. So... Um, that's what I do anyway so but yeah as you can see they are both coming out which is very good right that one's out loads of brake fluid on there so when I push it back in it just takes it back to where the rubber seal is they're going to be changed anyway I just don't want to damage it just by forcing it out doing myself a lot of damage because at the moment I can just replace the seals inside the seals in the half case maybe get new pistons and I'm done just working the pistons backwards and forwards and you can see all the old brake dust it's been dragging out um, you know it's 30 years worth of brake dust being dragged out there um, so a couple more times in and out with these pistons and then uh, I'll be happy. It feels quite solid on the piston actually, so the brake fluid will break that down. You know, it's so easy to think, oh, I'll get a bit of sandpaper on there, but you certainly do not want to do that. You know, it's, it's coming off. You can see it's coming off. Well, both of the pistons are moving fine now. So I've left the clamp in so I can just um, see them move. Um, so all in all, good little setup, worked fine. I shall take this out, get the pistons sort of 50-50 split the caliper then pop the pistons out hopefully with the airline um, but now it's time for a cuppa just um, got both pistons out halfway which I wanted to do split the casing um, the seals in the half channel are pretty well gone as I was pumped pumping one of these pistons out this came out with 
one of the pistons. So that's the seal that's down inside there. So they have definitely gone. So now I shall just put thumb over there, airline in there, pop the rest out with a bit of cloth over there, just, just in case it brake fluid comes out and I'll trap all of that. And the same with this side. Um, and hopefully the piston will just pop out the rest. They popped off the uh, seal inside because I just couldn't press any more on the caliper. And you can see over the years where people have pushed the piston back in with a object. Not too much damage, but you know, I'm gonna change them anyway. I'm not completely happy with that. So next stage will be pistons out and we'll see what's inside. Came out okay. Um, so, the sides are not too bad because I didn't use anything, but the seals are absolutely gone. Um, there's two in there. There's a top one, which is the dust seal, and then the fluid one. But uh, they are on that one there I can see is sort of split so I mean they've been in there 30 years they've done their job we can get new ones um, that one I don't think there's a lot left on that dust seal so I think it's um, pretty well gone but the main thing is the calipers are good so I shall wash them in some clutch and brake fluid cleaner now. Um, then get them sent away. Um, just one left now, so I shall do the same with that one. Um, I might even uh, take the rear one off and do that, so I've got the whole new brand set of new brake calipers whilst I've got this little setup done. So. Caliper number two is apart and pistons out. Um, just as bad as the first one. Um, you can actually see all the uh, mud and brake dust on that. Um, it actually feels rough. But I expect that's the, uh, the rubber from inside there. Um, let's see if, if we can get any, yeah, but I'll be changing the pistons anyway. Um, new seals in the calipers, get them repowder coated, hopefully all of these marks have come off where over the years it's been damaged or scratched on some things and then they'll be uh, as good as new I'm going to do the rear one as well get all three sent away get them all back um, new discs so be good thanks for watching I right, last bit of the video um, I've decided to take the rear one apart as well um, pistons quite bad actually they came apart really easy because it wasn't seized so I just put it on my handlebar setup both popped out halfway and then I just blew them with the airline this one's got some uh, weird stuff in the bottom so I'm not quite sure what that is but it's been in there 30 years so or feels quite sticky whatever it is um, but again you can see all of that is literally the rubber where it's deteriorated and uh, that one 
it's um, dual bleed nipple so I shall send those away and the others and hopefully they'll come back brand new with new pistons and new seals ready to go on. Thanks for watching.